Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in San Jose, California, where a brand new frauditor, in fact, he's so brand new, his channel was only just started this past June. Anyway, he's trying to audit a library. In fact, he's auditing it 30 minutes before they close. In addition to that, he is also filming children, which I am sure the parents are not happy with. Well, at any rate, the police are called and he ends up getting trespassed for his trouble. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hell, in the first few seconds, you can hear children playing in the background, and you will often see them running in and out of the range of the camera. So I'm going to cut out a huge portion of this video anyway, because it's almost an hour long. So uh, I won't show any of the children running around anyway. But the douchebag should have cut that out of his video if he was going to do an audit in the library anyway. But you know how these frauditors operate. They really have no decency when it comes to that. But let's carry on with the video, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. <clears throat> Hi. How would I um, get a go about getting a library card? I don't have one. Um, if you're recording, um, just not recording us, okay? What's that? I said if you're recording, you cannot re be recording any people in the block. Oh. How, why is that? <clears throat> Okay. <coughs> cool. Thanks. Uh huh. Do you have with you? Uh, yes. And then once we're at the application, just go ahead and submit, and I'll go up in front. Oh, I gotta fill all this out. Yes. Oh, uh, and then show the my ID. Yes. Is that all? Okay, thank you. No oh, you kind of sighed at that part where you had to fill all that out and end up having to show your ID to get yourself a library card. What's the matter, frauditor? Are you afraid you're going to get your uh, uh, ID taken away from you when you uh, uh, give it to them and they uh, might not give it back? It will be a violation of your Fourth Amendment right or something. Well, dude, uh, I'm going to alleviate your fear right now. They'll give it back to you. They just want to verify your identity. That's all. Can I do this at home? Yes. Oh, I could. How would I do that? Hmm. Yeah, I just need the URL, I suppose. Oh, SJPF? PL. PL. So dot oh, good, good, good. Well, thank you. You're getting helpful. <clears throat> yeah, you can't take pictures of video of people's faces in the oh, library. I can't? Why is that? Because it's against library policy. Oh, so. is it? Is it against the First Amendment? No, this has nothing to do with the First Amendment, dude. This, in fact, probably has more to do with the safety of their patrons within that establishment, considering that right when you were saying that in the lower right-hand corner, you can see the back of a child walking into a into frame. It's all about protecting their identities, you moron. Which is why I'm going to have to cut, like I said, cut so much of this video out. Because this happens quite a bit in this video. With the child just coming into frame and him not uh, moving away to make sure that he doesn't uh, film them. So what a douchebag. We've already heard about you. So. Oh, you did? What's my name? If you, if you want to stay here and keep violating library policy... You can't. If you want to violate my First Amendment, you can. 
Nobody cares. Okay, I am just going to go ahead and skip ahead to when the officers show up uh, because from this point on, he's just filming everything at random and not even bothering to take the children out of his shots. So for the protection of their identities, I definitely will not put them on my video, unlike this frauditor. So let's carry on. Fifteen minutes later. There they are. Hi. Think you're here for me? Yeah. How you doing? I'm fine. What are you doing? First Amendment audit. Okay. Um, the library staff would like you to be so. Trespass? Uh, yeah. Hmm. So. You gonna do that? They're asking nicely for you to leave, and that's it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What's your name and badge number? Uh, Officer David Edward, 4788. And yours? Vasquez, 4786. <clears throat> cool. I have a First Amendment right to. Um, I'm an independent journalist working on a story. Well, if you're a journalist, then perhaps you should take some more ethics training and realize that some parents don't want their children to be filmed, especially in public. And, well, and if you dare use that argument, well, maybe they shouldn't take their children out into public. Well, maybe you should just stay the hell home yourself and have a little bit of empathy for the damn parents who are actually trying to raise their children to be normal, productive members of society instead of brain-dead douche canoes like yourself. I, I, under library. I understand. What's the story? Uh, well, I don't want to divulge that. It would kind of um, ruin the story if I just give it out right now. Alright. Here. Sure. I will move about. Many, many minutes later. <clears throat> Did I break the law? Just curious. <laughs> Did you get educated, right, sir? No. So we've already paper. talked to you about our policy of taking videos. Doesn't trump the library. First Amendment. But nice try. But you know, douchebag, there are just so many other amendments that you gotta pay attention to. There are twenty-six more. Total meant twenty-seven plus uh let's see, seven uh articles that you gotta pay attention to not just the first amendment so why don't you try to do your damn research and discover the tenth amendment in fact the tenth amendment grants the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the constitution in fact they asked you several times to leave already and therefore since that is the case you can be trespassed now, and it's become quite clear that you're about to be trespassed if you don't leave the damn building. So have fun with that. Oh, yeah, and take the time to actually study the Constitution while you're at it and not just spout off what every other frauditor has said for the past now, some odd years, I don't know how long they've been doing it, but it's just tired old BS garbage script that doesn't go anywhere, but down the ba very bad road for you idiots. We have a library policy about uh -huh. you filming people I have the without first the amendment. permission. I have the First Amendment, which says you. I can. That's your suspension oh, from all no. library buildings. You can't come in. And okay. as of now, you're considered officially trespassing. So if you want to arrest me, go ahead, sir. Away. They'll escort you out of the building. Why do you gotta make it so difficult? Why can't you just leave? It's Arrest me. in 15 minutes anyway. Let's go to court. Is this your life? <laughs> is this yours, tyrant? Man, oh man, oh man. Who is the tyrant in this case? I think it's you, because you're the one who's definitely projecting your ignorance onto everybody else due to some fraud or other frauditors lack of understanding of the constitution and the laws of the land to begin with yeah there are certain places that will bar you from coming in if you have a camera because of situations like this where there's a lot of children running around i mean get it through your head that children are definitely a protected class in this country and move along home before you get uh, pounded into the ground by one of the parents. And that has happened to frauditors in the past. I'm looking at you, Matty boy. So make like a tree and leave before you end up in a pair of shiny bracelets. So there's a door. 
use it. You hate the First Amendment, you take an oath to the Constitution, and look at you. It's pathetic. You say I hate the First Amendment? Don't you? No. Freedom of press on public property. You're trying to trespass me from public property. The only way to trespass me from, because you don't know, obviously. The only way to trespass someone from public property is if they commit a crime. You're obviously new to this, and uh, you should know some things about what you're talking about. Freedom of the press does not mean the freedom for any person to, who calls themselves a, a journalist to go anywhere anytime. No, it doesn't mean that at all. It means the ability to publish a story without government interference, not what you think it means as far as, oh, I'm a journalist. I can go anywhere I want and, and nobody can stop me. No, dude, that's not what that means. And second of all, trespassing, yeah, I've already explained that to you, and I've explained that to numerous frauditors. It, the, you can be trespassed from public property in any state, in any country, whether you have committed a crime or not. That is a myth that you moronic frauditors propagate around to try to get your own way. Uh-uh, it doesn't work that way. If the owner of the property or the director of the property or whatever wants you gone, you leave. That's it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You leave. Oh, you can tell it to the judge in the city Exactly. Official. That's why I'm telling the cops to arrest me then. They're going to uphold you and your feelings. Because yeah. you're not going to trump the law. Your you feelings. Know this place closes are you going to mm -hmm. leave now or I can have them arrest you and escort you out of the building? All right, tough guy. Oh, looks right. like this guy is the, your chief. Go ahead. He's your chief and you guys are just his servants? Get your supervisor. Sure. D. Edward, get your supervisor. Let me see what you are. Are you just a basic guy with no, and you know, got no stripes? No stripes. You got He's stripes, sir? Well, you got no stripes you. either. Yep, You're a nobody. You. You're a nobody. Call supervisor. This place closes in 15 minutes. So I know. So I thought I was trespassed right now? No, but if you want to hang out for 15 minutes, we can hang out. So I'm suspended. Is that right? According to this, I'm going to read this. According to something that's not law written by some moron? <laughs> I don't care about that. There are municipal codes that you can violate. Oh, yeah. Right First Amendment would trump it all, all the way up to the federal court. Man, oh man, I am getting tired of this ass clown, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to when he does his walk of shame because his arguments are all like this nonsensical, stupid garbage that doesn't have any facts to back it up. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Five hours later. Sure do. Uh. Closes in three minutes. Hello, I'm Sergeant Padilla. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? You're the supervisor? I am the supervisor. Lieutenant? Nope, sergeant. Sergeant? Uh, three stripes. Um, I think these guys want to enforce some kind of library suspension for a camera. That's all I got. All right. Are you the representative of the library? Uh, let me grab him. Can you get the manager? Can you grab him real quick? Yeah, I was reading this when you came up. I was just filming. What's so, your name? I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't give it. Okay. But, um... It makes it difficult to have a conversation. Not really. I don't know your name. I said I'm Sergeant oh. Padilla. Oh, what's your badge number? 4029. Okay. So, I'll be frank with you. It's a First Amendment audit. I came in. Okay. You the manager here? Yes. And you were advising him he's no longer welcome here? Yes. And if he stays here, he's going to be trespassing? He's already trespassing. Okay, so this is your trespass warning? Yeah. This is them telling you you're trespassing if you continue to stay here. That's on them for giving you that warning. We mm -hmm. just enforce it. So if you continue to stay here, if you show up again, we will cite you for trespassing. And if you continue to do it, we will arrest you for trespassing. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's where we're at right now. Right. So at this point, um, it's time for you to I'm vacate being trespassed from a public Correct. property. Yes. Not private property. You understand that? Yes. Okay. How many are you guys close? Five minutes? Three? One minute, it looks like. One minute? Oh, okay. Yeah, one minute. So now is that time for you to uh, exit the area? I'll take the trespass. It's fine. We're going to need your name, information mm -hmm. to go on your citation. Uh, I think they said John Doe. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, you're detained now. So you're detained oh, now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm detained. So, because you refuse to leave for trespassing. I was going to leave. Oh, if you want to leave, then you can go. Then you're not going to be in trespassing site. Oh, okay. So you're good to go then. So I'm good to go. Yep. So I'm not detained anymore. No longer detained. Unless you want to stay here, then you are detained. Well, it's closed. 
That's exactly. Yeah. So you wanted to detain me in a closed, even though they closed, you want to detain me inside? Well, you're trespassing. That's what it is. Am I trespassing now? As long as you're off this property. So as long as you're in this general area, yes. Once you get to the sidewalk, no. On which sidewalk? The sidewalk. Okay, Tyrant, come on. And well, there you have it, folks. Another frauditor who's up and coming, who has a nasty attitude, and who knows the frauditor script. Well, as we can see, that this stuff will never end because these people are complete, uneducated, ass clown, dipshit morons. I mean, there's an other adjectives out there that I could use, but I don't want to go on forever with this crap on this one video. So I hope in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one because it looks like this guy could be here to stay unless he gets arrested and becomes Bubba's little bouncing baby prison wife.